Hello friends, today we will cover the topic adequacy of rain gauges. So let's say I have taken here one catchment and let's say I have installed few rain gauges over here to record the rainfall or precipitation. Now each rain gauge will have some percent error in estimation of rainfall. Right, and uh, say this person, it can be 5%, it can be 15%, it can be 25%, or it can be 18%, it, it can be anything. Right, so let's say, and it is also said that the more the number of gauges in a particular catchment area, the less the percent error. In estimation of rainfall but we have to look for the optimal number of rain gauges else the installation will become costly right so what we do we set our here what we do we set our percent error equal to 10 percent the percent error of estimation of all the rain gauges should be in total 10 percent so for this 10 percent of error we calculate n and n is your number of optimal gauges and that is given by cv upon epsilon whole square so here n will be equal to number of optimal gauges cv will be equal to coefficient of variation of rainfall values at the existing m stations this the value of m it can be four five six seven whatever the number of rain gauges you have installed in a particular catchment area and epsilon is what the allowable degree of error here we have set this to 10 percent so let's say if there are if there are n station installed and each station recording its rainfall respectively let's say p1 p2 p3 p4 like this at various stations then your cv will be given by 100 into sigma m minus 1 upon p bar here sigma m minus 1 is equal to standard deviation and p bar equal to what your mean precipitation now how to calculate this standard deviation and mean precipitation so the formula for this is sigma m minus 1 it will be given by summation 1 to m p i minus p bar whole square upon m minus 1 whole under root here P equal to precipitation at ith station and P bar equal to mean precipitation and that is given by summation M P i 
whole 1 upon m. So that's how you calculate sigma m minus 1 p bar. You will put all these values in CV to calculate CV and then by putting down the values of CV you will calculate the value of you will calculate the value of n by putting down the value of CV and epsilon is already known to you. Now we shall solve a numerical example to clear our concept more about this. So the question says a catchment has six rain gauges stations in a year The annual rainfall recorded is as follows. So let's say here we take our station and here we take our rainfall. So let's say station A, B, C, D, E and F. And the values here are let's say 82.6, 102.9, 180.5, 80.3 for station D it is 110.3 for station E it is 98.8 and for station F it is 130.7 so these are our values let's say this rainfall that we have recorded it is in centimeter and the question further says for a 10% error in the estimation of rainfall calculate number of optimal gauges right so now we shall solve this question so given data first of all right given data so data given is m equal to here given is 6 p bar you need to calculate sigma m minus 1 you need to calculate and cv you need to calculate epsilon is given as 10 percent this epsilon either it will it uh, it will be defined in the question it can be 12 percent it can be 9 percent it can be 13 percent if this epsilon is not defined in the question then you have to take it as 10 percent so 10 percent is your standard epsilon or that or the allowable degree of estimation in the rainfall so now we shall solve the question first we will calculate p bar so p bar will be calculated how 82.6 rainfall at station a then 102.9 rainfall station at b like this 180.3 plus 110 point sorry 110.3 plus 98.8 plus 130.6 this whole will be divided by what 6 and by dividing this you will get what your answer and your p is equal to 118.6 centimeter don't forget to write this unit the unit writing down unit also carries marks both in your semester exam as well as in your ies written exam so don't forget to put the unit now the next part is to calculate sigma m minus 1 how you will calculate i'll show you one case dress you calculate and figure out the value by yourself so sigma 1 till m pi sorry pi minus p bar this upon m minus 1 under root of this and this whole square 
so here one value will be what your pi is equal to let's say you have to calculate at a station so let's say your pa will be 82.6 your p bar is equal to 118.6 so here 82.6 minus 118.6 this sorry this whole square now this value will always be positive as square sign is there right so this value will always be positive you just have to add putting down the value calculating the values of similarly like of pb pc and also of the whole expression pb minus p then pc minus p like this till station f sum it up and you will get the value of sigma m minus 1 so on calculating you will get the value of sigma m minus 1 equal to 35.04 now putting down all these values in your cv then 100 into 35.04 upon 118.6 so this will give you the value as 29.54 put down this value in your formula of calculating number of optimal gauges which says n equal to cv upon epsilon whole square so here 29.54 upon epsilon this whole square which will come out to be 8.7 approximately you can take the value as 9 obviously you cannot install 8.7 rain gauges either it can be 8 or either it can be 9 so we'll take the safer side 9 rain gauges now in the question it is said that already this is the total number of optimal gauges. So since six rain gauges, six rain gauges are already installed. So you need to install three more rain gauges in order to have 10% error in estimation. Thank you.